Welcome back to the channel Mulda family. Now, how do you mint, how do you create and how do you etch runes tokens on the blockchain? Well, follow till the end of this video and all your questions will be answered. So there are a few websites that enable you easily create and mint runes, but the best among which is luminex.io. This is a website that of course definitely enables you mint existing runes tokens, but also enables you create your own runes tokens. Now what you see here are the existing rune tokens. These are some of the biggest currently, Satoshi Nakamoto, this was among the first runes to be etched in fact among the first runes to be created now this rune is already minted out and so much so that it is going to be listed on get.io right it is among the runes that are going to be listed on get.io now ask yourselves the question the protocol that the protocol has just launched just launched and the tokens on the protocol are being listed on get.io or on public exchanges that tells you that there's a lot of opportunity in runes there's a lot of opportunity in runes in fact you as a trader you as an opportunist can decide to focus only on runes if you so see it fit and you will make some good gains in this current bull run so satoshi nakamoto is being listed on get.io not only is satoshi nakamoto being listed but we are also seeing meme economics being listed on get.io these that you see here just launched today morning and they're being listed the next day now for those who are smart you can grab yourself a bag of these before the world gets to know about this well of course the large a large percentage of degens know about runes but before you know some of our uncles and aunties and family members get to know about crypto now that's when you know that we are starting to get to some of the highs on in this current bull run well with that said you can get yourself a bag of this it is officially launching or being listed on get.io on the 21st of april right let's go back to luminex now these are some of the existing mintable runes some are mintable some are not mintable some have already been minted out and on the right hand side you can see edge now how do you create your own runes token well start by creating a ticker name ticker name meaning the name that your token is going to be identified by currently the minimum number of characters are 12 so you cannot do anything like uh, shiba or something below a name below 12 characters that won't work at least not in this time frame so you need something that is longer than 12 characters so let me see which name can we use let me just put some random characters and well as you can see it's available these are random characters but if you go below uh, 12 characters it will tell you available in 227 days now these characters reduce of course the more miners go forward with mining different blocks of course they will reduce but for now the minimum character count is 12 so you know you just find your 12 characters and you're done if you need to upload the logo please do upload the logo how many decimals do you need in your runes you can put anything anywhere from 0 to 38 let me put 6 the symbol for your rune uh, let me put H what is the maximum supply maximum supply 200 million or 2 million rather and then the limit permit which means each address is supposed to mint at least this much uh, 5,000 and it is as simple as that well granted you need to have some bitcoin in your wallet and you can't choose different tiers there is fast medium and slow depending on how much you are willing to spend on gas but you need to have some bitcoin once that is done you submit the edge and it will be created right once it has been created people can start minting this specific token it will appear among these so anyone who is part of your community or part of the addresses that you have whitelisted to mint this specific token can mint it well it is as simple as that but now this also has a disadvantage to it as you have seen it is very easily accessible so that means that anyone can create their own token literally anyone and anyone can create it easily now that 
tells you that there are going to be millions of tokens millions of tokens and most of these are going to go to zero most of these are not going to be valuable because it's very easy to create a new token right now you also need to look out for the projects and tokens that will make you the most amount of money best of the value that they are delivering so not every project out here is going to is going to do well not every project is actually going to do well in fact 99.9 percent are going to do really uh, badly but there are those that are going to do amazing so if you're going to mint another project you can either find it here or you can search for it um here and after finding it you can just mint right you can search for it here or you can search for it here and then you mint board api club has a mint repeated mints one um, the fees the gas fees right now it's 0 0.0010 btc and once you have found the specific token just click mint and you are good to go you've already purchased yourself or rather you have minted participated in the creation of a specific number of tokens of this specific project right well that is how it works it is as simple as that so how do you spot the most potential runes how do you spot the most potential rune tokens because as you know now as you have seen it is very easy to create a runes token and because it is very easy to create a runes token we are going to see a lot of scams we are going to see a lot of rug pulls we are going to see a lot of nefarious people playing in this market so you have to do your own research you have to keep your ear on the ground on which tokens are popping in the space and with runes it's all about the community mostly about the community the conversation the formal around it how is what is the noise around this specific token online right but also as you have seen there is community but two there is the first movers advantage which means the first 10 runes that were created when the protocol launched those ones are going to have some sort of value attached to them simply because they have the first movers advantage that is amazing right and that is already opportunity right there and definitely there are going to be a lot more rune tokens coming up from this point forth that are going to make you a good good bag in this bull run but you need not neglect the fundamental principles of doing your own research doing your own research ask yourself how is the community how big is the community what is the conversation like online are they bots are they not bots because again you are going to see a lot of scams a lot of scammers are going to start playing around with this because where there is opportunity scammers as well see opportunity just like you see the opportunity they see the opportunity in fact one may argue that mm, they may make the opportunity so you need to be very very careful but also lastly as you can see some of these runes are being listed on centralized exchanges now once a token has been listed on a centralized exchange that is a green light a very big very big green light for you to look into this specific token because a centralized exchange means access to a bigger market and more liquidity so that is very very good for a specific token and a rune and you can see satoshi nakamoto again is being listed and for now satoshi nakamoto and meme economics these are the very first runes very first runes to be listed on a centralized exchange at least as far as the news goes this is the first centralized exchange to list runes get i Oh, but we are also seeing OKX. OKX is doing a lot with runes. In fact, it's building or it has built a platform onto which you can buy, sell, send, send and receive rune tokens, mostly on the decentralized aspect. But we are also going to see the centralized department of OKX listing a lot of these runes. So, 
Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of this video. Thank you very much for sticking to this point. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. Till next time, cheers.